Hey there, fellow growers. It's your friend from Ruth Haven Grounds, and today I'm sharing something that honestly changed how I think about composting and soil building. If you've been following along, you know I'm always experimenting with ways to breathe life back into tired soil without breaking the bank or spending months waiting for results. Well, what I'm about to share with you is almost too good to be true, but I've tested it in my own garden beds, and the results have been nothing short of remarkable. We're talking about banana peel biochar, a simple DIY amendment that you can make in about 24 hours that will literally double your worm population and transform lifeless dirt into thriving soil. I know that sounds like gardening clickbait, but stick with me here because the science backs this up, and more importantly, it actually works. Before we dive into the how-to, let's talk about what this stuff actually is. Traditional biochar is created through pyrolysis, which is basically burning organic material in a low oxygen environment to create a carbon-rich, porous structure. Think of it as charcoal, but specifically made for your garden rather than your grill. Now, banana peel biochar takes this concept and supercharges it. Banana peels are packed with potassium, phosphorus, calcium, and magnesium. When you convert them into biochar, you're not just creating that beneficial porous carbon structure that improves soil texture and water retention, you're also locking in those concentrated nutrients in a form that becomes slowly available to your plants over time. The magic happens because the biochar structure acts like a luxury hotel for soil microbes and earthworms. Those tiny pores create protected spaces where beneficial bacteria and fungi can thrive, while the nutrient content acts as a buffet that keeps worms coming back for more. In my own garden beds, I went from barely spotting a worm when I dug around to finding five or six in every shovelful within just two weeks of adding banana peel biochar. Here's something most gardening channels won't tell you straight up. Most of us are working with dead dirt, not living soil. Real soil is a complex ecosystem teeming with life, billions of microorganisms working together to break down organic matter, cycle nutrients, and support plant health. Dead dirt is just mineral particles with maybe some old, depleted organic matter mixed in. The difference between the two is staggering. Living soil holds moisture better, drains appropriately, resists compaction, suppresses diseases naturally, and makes nutrients available to plants exactly when they need them. Dead dirt does none of these things well, which is why you end up fighting an uphill battle with fertilizers, amendments, and constant watering. Banana peel biochar bridges that gap faster than almost any other amendment I've tried. The carbon structure provides immediate physical improvement to soil texture, breaking up clay and giving sandy soils something to hold on to. The nutrient content feeds the initial wave of microbial activity. And that microbial activity is what attracts earthworms in droves, because worms follow the food and microbe-rich soil is an all-you-can-eat buffet for them. All right, let's get to the practical stuff. I'm gonna walk you through my method for making banana peel biochar that you can have ready to use in about 24 hours. You don't need fancy equipment, and you're probably not going to burn your house down, though we will be using fire, so standard common sense applies. Start by collecting your banana peels. I keep a container in my kitchen and toss peels in there throughout the week. You want them relatively dry before you start the charring process, so if they're fresh and wet, spread them out on a baking sheet and let them dry for a day or two. Or speed things up by putting them in your oven on the lowest setting for a couple hours until they're leathery and dark. Once your peels are dried, you're ready for the charring process. I use an old cast iron pot with a lid, something I picked up at a thrift store specifically for this purpose. You don't want to use your good cookware because it's going to get pretty sooty. Place your dried banana peels in the pot, but don't pack them too tightly. You want some air circulation, but not too much, which is why the lid is important. Now here's where the magic happens. Set your pot over a fire source. I use my fire pit in the backyard, but a charcoal grill works great too. You want medium heat, not a raging bonfire. The goal is to char the peels, not incinerate them into ash. 
Keep that lid mostly on, leaving just a small gap for gases to escape. You'll see smoke coming out, which is normal. That's the volatile compounds burning off while the carbon structure is being created. This charring process takes about 30 to 45 minutes. You'll know you're done when the smoke changes from thick and white to thin and clear, and when you peek inside, your banana peels have transformed into brittle, black, yeah, charcoal-like pieces. Let everything cool completely, and I mean completely. I usually do my charring in the evening and let it sit overnight. Here's where a lot of people go wrong with biochar. Fresh biochar is actually not great for your plants if you use it straight. It's so porous and eager to absorb things that it will actually pull nutrients and moisture away from your soil initially. This is called raw biochar, and while it's not harmful, it's not immediately helpful either. The solution is activation, sometimes called charging your biochar. Take your cooled banana peel biochar and crush it up into smaller pieces. I just put mine in a sturdy bag and give it a few whacks with a rubber mallet. You want pieces ranging from powder to about the size of a pea. Now comes the activation. Mix your crushed biochar with either finished compost, worm castings, or a liquid fertilizer solution. I prefer using my worm bin castings because they're loaded with beneficial microbes, but compost works wonderfully too. The ratio I use is roughly one part biochar to two parts compost or castings. Mix it thoroughly and let it sit for at least 12 hours, though 24 is better. During this time, the biochar is absorbing nutrients and getting colonized by beneficial microorganisms. Now it's ready to transform your soil rather than rob from it. The application method depends on what you're working with. For existing garden beds that are underperforming, I work about a half inch layer of activated banana peel biochar into the top four, four to six inches of soil. You don't need to be too precise here. Just sprinkle it around and work it in with a garden fork or broad fork. For new beds or containers, mix it throughout your growing medium at about 10% by volume. So if you're filling a raised bed with 10 bags of garden soil, you'd add roughly one bag's worth of activated biochar. For transplanting or planting seeds, add a generous handful into each planting hole and mix it with the soil you're backfilling with. I've had incredible results doing this with tomatoes and peppers especially, probably because of that potassium boost from the banana peels. The results typically start showing within a week or two. The first thing you'll notice is improved soil structure. Heavy clay soils become easier to work and sandy soils hold water better. Within two to three weeks, if you dig around in your amended soil, you're going to be amazed at the worm population. They absolutely love this stuff, and where worms go, soil health follows. What makes banana peel biochar such a game changer isn't just the immediate impact, it's the long-term benefits. Biochar is incredibly stable in soil. We're talking hundreds to thousands of years if left undisturbed. That means the soil structure improvements and the habitat you've created for beneficial organisms essentially becomes permanent. The nutrient content releases slowly over time, providing a steady supply of potassium and other minerals, rather than a quick hit that leaches away with the next rain. I've got beds that I amended with banana peel biochar two years ago that are still outperforming my other beds with consistently higher worm counts and better plant performance. There's also the water retention benefit that becomes more apparent over time. Biochar can hold up to six times its weight in water releasing it slowly as plants need it. In my garden, beds with biochar need watering about 30% less frequently than those without, which is huge during our hot summers. Look, I've tried a lot of soil amendments and quick fixes over the years, and most of them either don't work as advertised or require so much time and effort that they're not practical for the average gardener. Banana peel biochar is different. It's genuinely effective, surprisingly easy to make, uses a waste product you're probably throwing away anyway, and provides benefits that compound over time rather than diminishing. The science is solid, the results are visible and measurable, and the cost is essentially zero. Whether you're trying to rehabilitate tired soil, boost production in existing beds, or give new plantings the best possible start, 
This 24-hour soil hack deserves a place in your gardening toolkit. If this article helped you out, or if you're excited to try making your own banana peel biochar, do me a favor and subscribe to Roothaven Grounds. Share this with your gardening friends who are struggling with poor soil or low worm populations, and drop a comment letting me know how it works out for you, because I genuinely want to hear about your results and learn from what you discover in your own garden. Let's keep growing together and building soil that gets better every season. Happy growing, everyone.